Now, the misery visited on victims of raging floods is worsening by the day. With no signs of the rain abating, the Kenya Red Cross is tomorrow set to launch an appeal for victims living in displacement camps. So far, over 100 people have died, but there could be more unreported deaths. Over 260,000 people have been displaced from their homes and are currently seeking refuge in schools and churches. Over 70 schools are flooded, making it impossible for the new school term to commence in those affected regions. This is in addition to 33 health centers that have also been submerged. Well, there are also fears of disease outbreaks in Garissa, Turkana, Isiolo, Nairobi and West Pokot counties, with experts warning that cases of malaria, dengue fever and chikungunya virus could rise. Wilkesanyabwa reports on that crisis. If she stirs the pot, perhaps the beans will cook faster before Monajuma runs out of firewood to prepare what may be the only meal she will enjoy today. This, what now passes for an ordinary day at this camp in Gamba, Tana River County, one of 108 camps in the area occupied by residents seeking refuge from flooded areas. Most left home with nothing except a few clothes, using some of these clothes to set up temporary shelters. Life in the camps is hard and food is hard to come by. There's also the constant threat of disease. Their desperation echoed in Nyadurera in Siaya County, locals gazing wistfully at the homes they were forced out of. The area flooded, the roads impassable. They found refuge at the local primary school, squeezing into the small spaces with the few possessions they managed to save. This year's crop ruined in the farms. <laughs> An estimated 250,000 people have been displaced by floods in various parts of the country. According to the Kenya Red Cross, the death toll now stands at 80, while 33 people have been injured as heavy rains pound the country. And the worst affected county presently is um, uh, Tana River County, followed by Garissa, Kilifi, and many other counties that have also been affected by the same. Nearly 100 schools and 33 health facilities are now inaccessible. On Wednesday, a section of these flood victims tuned in to the State of the Nation address, hoping the president would address their plight. They were disappointed. <laughs> The floods coming on the heels of a long dry spell. The long term development solution to both the drought and the flooding needs huge investment and we need to come together as a country to find solutions, both central government and county government. So what we've done now, we're deploying a boat from Lamu with a capacity of 10 tons. That boat will help us to be able to ferry non-food items and food items to areas that are cut off. In camps across the country, locals now making the best of things, bracing for the rainy days ahead. Wilkisanyabwa Citizen Live at 9.